Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hama, and today we're joined with Deepesh Banjeri, the Senior Vice President of Technology at Deputy. Deepesh, it's great to have you on the show today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about your very unique solution that you offer at Deputy? Deputy is a global workforce management software company. Uh, what is workforce management? Workforce management is all about rostering and scheduling, uh, making sure just the right people are working, and then tracking their time and calculating the pay that comes along with that. Uh, in addition to that, it's about facilitating all the communication that happens in the work, workplace. And these are really for businesses that are predominantly hourly paid employees. Think about a bar, a pub, a restaurant, a retail store, medical clinics, vets, uh, businesses like that, where uh, they have a lot of hourly paid employees. And uh, really interesting fact, 60% of the world's workforce is hourly paid workers. That's really interesting. And Deputy does sound like a really great tool that gives both managers and workers clarity on those important scheduling and timing matters. So given that Deputy is born on the cloud, can you tell us a little bit about some of the services you've used, such as Compute for limitless scalability? Sure. So we've got millions of people using Deputy. Um, and so uh, cloud computing is crucial for us to go and deliver this at scale uh, fast and reliably. Um, certain times of the day and week, we get a lot of simultaneous utilization. Uh, for example, if you put your shoes in, uh, in the, in the, in the uh, yourself in the shoes of an hourly worker, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. is a really uh, regular time to show up to work and clock into work. And so we have a lot of peak of usage around people clocking into work, uh, using their facial recognition to indicate that it is them uh, at work. Um, Mondays, uh, especially at the end of the month, is a really busy day to do payroll. Um, and process all the pay and calculate the correct uh, pay for all of your individuals. For large businesses, that can be, you know, the hundreds and thousands of timesheets to process together and export into your payroll company. And so those peaks and troughs um, are easily manageable um, through all the auto scaling rules we use in, um, in AWS and our EC2. Uh, and that allows us to elegantly scale up and down um, as our usage uh, accompanies that. Uh, we also use um, certain of the, the certain Lambda functions, which allow us to auto scale up and down for uh, high availability of some of our uh, commonly used functions, and that you know allow AWS to manage that for us, um, so our engineers can focus on solving more problems. It's really cool to hear that there's never any downtime, and that you know those people who are those shift workers, you're saying there's sixty percent of the population, there's never any downtime, and they can just access the platform and know that it's going to work. So I'm really glad that that functionality works for you guys. So Deepesh, we're also aware that you, that you use one of our services, Aurora, for customer sharing and scalability. So for those of our viewers who don't know, what is Aurora and what does it enable you to do? Sure. So we use Aurora for our multi-tenant customer databases. Um, not only are we able to provide our customers with their own databases for maximum security, data portability, um, but we can also size each of the database clusters for the size of the customer. No two customers are created equally. We may have a large, significant retailer with you know, tens and tens and thousands of employees who need a different size of database than a small cafe down the street. And so uh, we're able to orchestrate you know, these hundreds and thousands of databases in the cloud, maintaining security, maintaining data portability, but also maintaining the right size database for the right type of customer. And we don't just stop at Aurora. Uh, many of our use cases require us um, to have a key value database um, like DynamoDB. And so we get other benefits from solutions like that, like really easy scalability horizontally that happens without having to have much um, engineering muscle on our end uh, to have in place. That's really cool. And also Deepesh, Deputy is used by over 1 million workers across 250,000 workplaces in in over 70 countries. This is huge. So what does it mean for your global customers that they can use your services in all different geographies and regions? Sure, so we operate in multiple regions and as such, we can deploy and run our, you know, run our um, experience on those regions. Um, so whether it's North America, Europe, Asia, uh, Australia, we're able to offer our services in those local regions and so uh, one, it uh, creates a distributed system. So no one region has too much load at once, which is just a great principle of designing a good system, a distributed system. And two, uh, late latency. And uh, all of our local customers can have really fast 
um, response times. Um, and actually related to that, uh, many customers actually want their data to be stored closer to them. And so we also uh, are able to offer um, that fact that, you know, that a lot of their data is gonna be stored in their region. It's so great that you're able to offer your solution so widely by utilizing the AWS technology stack and that there are no lags and you know you, you get them in all different geographies. That's so really cool. And finally, you can also use products such as AWS Forecast, Machine Learning, Recognition. I know you guys are utilizing the stack. So how do you use these services and what can we expect to see next from Deputy? So our ethos at Deputy is very partner-led. Uh, we actually have a com company value called uh, Stronger Together. And we believe partners are a crucial component to that, of delivering that value. Look, you just can't do it all. And we would rather partner uh, to enable some really innovative capabilities, uh, particularly capabilities that uh, you know, Amazon often uh, solves for their own business and um, sees many different industries to solve for. And so some of those things we've partnered, uh, particularly with AWS for our one uh, forecast, uh, AWS forecast for helping our customers forecast their sales into the future. And um, based on those forecasts, they can use data to drive the right number of staff they need. They're not guessing what, what number of staff they need to use in the, have in the future. The forecast using machine learning and uh, what's in the box um, uh, uh, of some of the AI models that are in there can create a good model for what's going to happen in the future. And the staff manager can then uh, meet that demand through the staffing that they have. Um, we don't only stop at forecast. Uh, we also uh, use certain uh, parts of SageMaker and a lot of the ML models that you can custom create in there um, for customers that require more um, a weighting on different factors that might drive their forecast in the future. And so we're able to create really specialized uh, machine learning models for what's going to happen in the future with that customer's demand so that we can then recommend what kind of labor they need to match that. And so we use both forecast and uh, if required for more customization, SageMaker to go and <coughs> deliver that. Um, we also use services like uh, recognition. Recognition is a uh, facial recognition uh, service out of AWS. And we use that. Uh, we actually built that right after COVID-19 happened. And uh, hygiene became a top priority. And so we have got this uh, tablet kiosk that sits in most workplaces that people clock in and clock out of work for. Well, we quickly realized that that was the most unhygienic part of the, of the workplace because people were touching it and everybody was touching it. So uh, to create a completely touchless experience, we use uh, recognition to match the person's face against their profile picture and deputy so they can clock in just by showing up and looking at the tablet. And then we use voice recognition to match their voice to what they're clocking in for. Are they clocking in as a barista? <coughs> are, <coughs> are they clocking in as a, uh, a cook that day? And uh, they can take instruction from the voices. So no hands ever need to touch the screen. And so that's what we use recognition for. <coughs> um, we also use services like Kinesis um, for streaming data. We get a lot of streaming data coming in. Um, many businesses integrate with their point of sale devices. Um, of all the sales and transactions coming in. Uh, we use services like Kinesis for um, uh, dealing with that at bulk and being able to uh, orchestrate all that data coming in from a variety of different sources. And so those are some of the different um, uh, services we use uh, with that ethos of being partner-led. Devesh, thank you so much for explaining this. I mean, it's so cool. And part of the thing that I love best about my job is hearing about how, you know, our customers are utilizing all these amazing products and services. So it's been really cool to speak to you today. I love what you've been doing, especially during COVID with the touchless and use, utilizing all our machine learning and recognition services. That's super cool. So thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing everything that you're doing. And to all our viewers at home, we'll see you next time.